Over the shingle underlayment, center a 36 inch wide sheet of Tamco nail fast or a minimum 50 pound roll roofing in the valley. Nail the felt only where necessary to hold it in place and then only nail the outside edges. Prior to installation, it's important to warm shingles to prevent damage which can occur while bending the shingles to form the valley. After valley flashing is in place, apply the first course of shingles along the eaves of one of the intersecting roof planes and across the valley. For proper flow of water over the trim shingle, always start applying the shingles on the roof plane that has the lower slope or less height. Extend the end shingle at least 12 inches onto the adjoining roof. Apply succeeding courses in the same manner, extending them across the valley and onto the adjoining roof. Press the shingles tightly into the valley. Use normal shingle fastening methods. Remember, no fastener should be within six inches of the valley center line, and two fasteners should be placed at the end of each shingle crossing the valley. Finally, to the adjoining roof plane, apply one row of shingles vertically facing the valley and two inches back from the valley center line. For a neater installation, snap a chalk line over the shingles for a guide. To complete the valley, apply shingles on the adjoining roof plane by positioning the tip of the first shingle of each row at the two inch point from the center line where the edge of the vertical shingle has been applied, covering the vertical shingle. For alternate valley application methods, please contact Tamco's Technical Systems Department.